Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have the Viral IQ Test. This is a viral IQ test that went all over Facebook with the claim that, well, one in 1,000 people could actually figure this out. The problem is this, 1 plus 4 equals 5, 2 plus 5 equals 12, 3 plus 6 equals 21, and 8 plus 11 equals, well, that's the question. So if you think you can figure out, let's pause this video here and try to see if you can get what the answer is. Okay, hopefully you've got an answer or you just want to listen through what the explanation is. Now, a common thought here is they see this as a pattern of A plus B, the first two values, is equal to some operation here where it's A plus A times B. And this is a, a popular theory here for it. So in that case, our one plus four would be a one plus one times four. And one plus one times four is equal to, well, five. Continuing down, that would be then two plus two times five for the next one equals 12. And three plus three times six equals a 21. And then lastly then, eight plus eight times 11 would give us an answer of 96. And this is actually probably the most popular answer here. Now, some people disagree with this and they got an answer of well, 40. So how do they get an answer of 40? And by doing that, they actually did what's called like a running total. They saw or interpreted this IQ question to be a, well, one plus four is equal to five. We take that total, five, and add it to the previous problem. So five plus, or the next one down, two plus five gives us the 12. Take that 12, put it down up front here, 12 plus three plus six, which would give us the 21. So then we take that 21, put it out front, add eight plus 11, and we get the answer of 40. So is it 40 or is it 96? What do you think? I have another idea here. And that actually comes with our running total. What if we interpreted the running total a little differently? So I'm gonna put that over uh, well here. I'm gonna go erase this. And I'm gonna keep this running total going. So what if instead of, I notice I have one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So if we continue this going and we have a four here plus a seven, our rules would apply that 21 still needs to come out front. And well, 21 plus four plus seven is a 32. Continuing that down, one, two, three, four, five plus eight, 32 comes out front here, and 32 plus five plus eight is a 45. Same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus, and then here goes to a nine, 45 comes out front with that running total, and 45 plus six plus nine equals a 60. Keep that going. We have a seven and a 10 here. Hopefully you see where we're going with it. 60 comes out front. 60 plus seven plus 10 is a 77. Lastly, we come down, we have a uh, eight and 11, which they're asking here, right? Eight plus 11, by following our rules, 77 comes out front. 77 plus eight plus 11 is a 96. Interesting. So 96, by using that running total method, still got an answer of 96. Well, what camps do you fall in? Do you camp fall into the 40, 96? Or do you think there's some other answer for me? Let me know down in the comment section below which one you think is the correct answer, but I'm here to tell you it's 96. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video. This helps us make more of these fun math videos with our light board. So, as always, thanks for watching.